Okay, I want to give you guys a little uh, lesson about West Point Bridge Designer 2016. It's pretty old software, but it does some amazing things in helping you design bridges. You will find this under your windows if you go down to Bridges under Bs and choose the West Point Bridge Design. It'll be the first link in the uh, in the menu there. Not don't use the one for older version. Use the one at the top. You're going to eventually get to a screen that looks like this. Uh, you're going to create a new bridge design here, so we're going to click OK. It's uh, giving you some information about a design requirement. You can read through that and click Next. We're not entering a contest, so you can leave that check to No. Now, here is where you start making some basic assumptions about your bridge, and you have to choose this at this point. So today, first time through, you might just want to sort of play with it a little bit and get a feel for it. You may have to come back later and actually change these settings so that your bridge is designed differently in the end. So you've got some choices here. We're trying to build a bridge across this body of water. So right now, your, your elevation of the deck is 24 meters above the water. You can actually change that to these different meter levels above the water. If you choose a lower level, like 12 meters, you'll see the hatch lines, which indicate you're actually um, excavating some dirt which is going to cost you some money, but in the long run may save you money because then you won't have as much steel and trusses to build to span the river. So excavation costs may be less than actually building a longer bridge. You'll have to uh, determine that as you're building your and designing your bridge. You can decide if you just want the standard abutments, which are the bridge supports, or you can use, if you decide to do an arch bridge, you'll need to put arch abut abutments. Uh, do you want a pier uh, in the middle, no pier in the middle, or do you want a pier in the middle? Of course, that's going to strengthen your bridge, but it's going to add cost to it, keeping in mind you're trying to build a bridge under $250,000. So anything you add to it is going to add to the cost of the bridge. And then the cable anchorages are available if you do a, a uh, suspension bridge. So go to next. Uh, we're going to start out with medium strength concrete. You may later come back and try high strength concrete. High strength concrete is a little lighter but a little more expensive. So you gotta, you gotta weigh the two out. Uh, we're gonna use a standard truck to start with, just to see how things go. And then we're gonna do next. Now you've got some pre-designed truss designs that have been made by some pretty famous engineers, the Howell, the Pratt, and the Warren. Uh, you can look through each of these. I would suggest on your first attempt, you just use one of these existing designs uh, before you try to experiment with your own. Notice three of these are underneath the bridge and uh, three of these are above the bridge so you can pick which one you want and then you click next and you can put your name here as far as the designer uh, you don't really need a project id and then you click on next and then it's giving you a reminder of what you need to do you're first of all going to draw the joints which are the circles you're going to then draw the members which are the beams that make the trusses then you're going to run the load test to see if your bridge passes uh, the inspection. And again, you want to get a safe bridge that allows the truck to cross it yeah. safely without collapsing into the river. And But you also yeah. then begin working on some uh, fine tuning of your bridge so that you end up saving money and by making lesser expensive pieces in different parts of the bridge that aren't as highly loaded. So then we're going to click on finish. It's going to actually show me on the screen a grade in area of my new bridge design. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start with the circle and I'm going to start filling in. I'm going to just use their uh, suggested locations uh, to put these uh, nodes or these points where the trusses come together. You have to start with the nodes. And then you come back with the, the beams themselves or the bars. And then you can actually just draw, click and drag with your um, mouse. And you can actually draw all of these trusses in here. Uh, when we get done with the zigzag ones here, we can actually just draw the other ones all the way across with one line. So it takes a little while to build your bridge. You can feel free to add additional nodes and bars outside of this basic design, or you can rearrange the bridge if you wish to. Just keep in mind these standard designs are designed to be symmetric, which is important in bridge loading. And they're designed to have triangles. So that's what you want to strive for in your bridge. Now you notice as I create these, over here on the right side, I have a list of all the beams. 
I have some material information and what they're made out of and the load test is going to show up in there. At the top, you will notice this bridge is already $290,000. So obviously it's too expensive already. So we'll have to do some changing there. I can actually click on any of these, click back on the arrow here. I can click on any of these bars and it'll show up in the, in the list over here and it will let me change it up here. I can change the material. I can change it from solid to tube and I can change the size. There's actually smaller sizes as well as larger sizes. If I don't want to go with the 140 by 140 standard beam size, I can do smaller beams, which will be cheaper, but more uh, won't, won't carry as much load. Or I can choose a thicker beam, which will carry more load, but it's more expensive. So this is going to be a balancing act through the whole design process to create something that actually works and you, it, it meets the budget. So once you have the bridge designed the way you want it, you click on the little blue button up here to do a load test. Here's the ultimate check to see if your bridge is safe. Notice it's sagging. Here comes the truck. And alas, my bridge breaks. So just using that basic design wasn't enough. I'm going to have to consider some other things like make the beams thicker, uh, maybe move some stuff around, and then I'll test it again. So what I need to do, notice the red here uh, means you're in uh, high compression. The blue means you're in high tension. The brighter the color, the bigger the stress. But to go back to the drawing board, we click back up next to the blue button. We click on the drawing board. You'll notice the blue ones and the red ones show up. Well, the blue one shows up because I actually highlighted it. But notice here, my two in the middle were my failure points. These are highlighted with red hatches, meaning I exceeded the force. I'm over one here on the compression ratio, force to strength. So that means I had a compression failure here in the center of the bridge, which means I'm going to have to come in to beams 20 and 21 and I'm going to have to probably make them thicker out right, of a different material. And if I do that, it's going to make my bridge even more expensive. So I'm going to have to find a way to cut uh, expenses somewhere else in the bridge. Uh, if you want to get a total look at where all your expenses are going, you can click on the calculator. It'll show you how much material is being used. It'll show you your excavation cost. Remember, I actually graded down my hillside so I had a shorter bridge. That actually cost me $54,000 to have that graded. Uh, so I had a shorter bridge, but it saved me on bridge costs. So this is the uh, menu you're going to play around with to get the best bridge at the lowest cost so you can win the contract, right? So anyway, I hope you have some fun with this uh, bridge design software. It may take you three or four times through it to actually figure out what you're doing here and how to do it correctly. And then you, once you get a safe bridge, I urge you to keep trying to go back and tweak it to keep improving it, keep making it a little bit less expensive, a little bit less expensive. As long as you can get the truck safely over the bridge, then you have a safe bridge at a cheap cost. When you're done here, you want to actually go into down here in your uh, menu window and you want to type in snip and you want to use the snipping tool. And when you have the snipping tool, you can click on new. And then you can highlight whatever you want to snip out. And then you can save that to a file or you can copy it to a file. And then you can upload that to Google Classroom. I would prefer that when you do the snippet, you actually do the test of the bridge itself, showing the truck on the bridge. But you may want to put both. You may want to put the, the drawing board and the final test to show that you actually engaged it. So again, have fun with this bridge design software. And um, hope you get a great bridge under $250,000. And uh, we'll see you on Monday when I'm back and find out how you did.